In this video, I'm going to show you how to install QGIS. In the last video, I already showed you how to install PostgreSQL and also PostGIS because we are going to use some uh, desktop client to connect to the database. Um, we can either use QGIS or um, ArcGIS. Since uh, not all of you are using the Windows operating system, if you're using Mac or OS, uh, you cannot install ArcGIS uh, because it's, it's not supported. So uh, we uh, we are going to use QGIS so that you can also follow the uh, the tutorials and so we are going to install QGIS uh, in this video. Uh, this is going to be a short video uh, because install QGIS is very easy and uh, straightforward. You can go to QGIS.org or you can just search uh, Google and then QGIS. You should be able to find the website. Then click the download. From here, we are going to download the, the uh, standalone uh, installer. Um, right now, the latest version of QGIS is 3.18, uh, but it has some issues. Uh, if you see the, the notes in here, um, and um, they're holding back a folder download of a 3.18. Um, so we might have another release later. And so for this course, we're just going to install the 3.16. And you can just click here, the standalone um, version and 64 bit. Then you can download this one to your computer. Things I already downloaded, uh, it's almost 400, uh, 400 megabyte. And I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and then uh, double click. Okay. So it might take a couple of seconds to uh, open the installer. And once you uh, open, then we can uh, navigate to uh, install the. Okay, uh, it's already open. So just click, uh, make it minimize. Just click next and then uh, agree. And then by default, it's going to install to the program files QGIS 3.16. Uh, next, you can also install some dataset if you want. So for example, if you're new to uh, GIS, if you want to use, uh, basically have some uh, sample dataset, yeah, you can. So I'm just going to install some of those. Later in this course, we might also use some of this sample dataset uh, for the uh, post GS. Okay, so, and then just hit uh, install. Uh, it's going to take some time to download the sample data and also install the uh, package. I'm going to pause the video and then come back once it's uh, finished. Okay, the installation is almost uh, completed. And so earlier I checked this downloading the sample data set. And uh, right now you will see here it pop up the dialog asking you to download. It also shows you uh, where, where all the data set are going to be copied to. Uh, so you under the documents uh, GS database. And then North Carolina, just hit OK. Uh, it's going to connect and then download. So it might take some time. Uh, we can go to the directory uh, under my name and then uh, documents, uh, GS database. So uh, later in this course, we might uh, use some of these data sets uh, in here. OK, so now the installation has uh, completed. We also have some sample data sets here under the documents folder, GS database. And so these are the sample data set uh, that we uh, downloaded. And so this just hit uh, finish. Then you can go to uh, the desktop. Uh, you should be able to see the uh, icons in here. You can also go to start menu and then just uh, go to QGS. Okay. So QGS and then uh, desktop uh, 3.16.4. You can just click, uh, it should open QGS. So after uh, we uh, install QGS, we also want to add some uh, base map uh, because the default one, uh, we only have a couple options. Um, there are a lot more base maps uh, available uh, on the internet. So we want to load some of those uh, um, base maps to our computer. And so it looks like I already have some of those in here. It's probably because I um, install that uh, the previous version and so what you need to do is to go to um, my uh, uh, github repository and then the QGS uh, OS engine examples uh, you can click the URL I also put the URL in the uh, description uh, below and once you are on the web page here click the, the raw icon uh, and then right click here save as and then save this one to the downloads folder or uh, wherever you like. Just hit save. And then uh, you can open QGS. So 
once QJ is open, uh, look at this one, Python, uh, Python console. Click this one. And from here, you can click the, the uh, uh, not this one. I think it's the, um, uh, if you look at this one here on the right here, there's a open, uh, open script. So you can open, click the open, and then navigate to the downloads folder. Uh, select the Python script that we just downloaded. Hit open. Okay. And once it's open, all you need to do is just hit this one, uh, the button, one script. And it's going to automatically add uh, all the base maps. So there are a lot more base maps. Uh, for example, Google base map, uh, Esri, and some other open uh, open one. So once it's executed, then you can go to the left side here, uh, XYZ ties. And then you can just un uh, uncheck this one. You should be able to see the list of all the base map that we can utilize. And let me close the Python console. Then you can open the new project. From there, once it's uh, the new project is open, then you can click here, select on the left side. Uh, you can select any base map you like. For example, I can just double click this one. Uh, it should add this one to the map, okay? And then you can have access to the Google map. You can also add uh, Google Satellite, for example, Hybrid. Uh, so the Hybrid one has a label. So if you can click, you should have the, uh, the base map. So this is very nice because uh, you don't have to uh, go online to download any data set uh, so you can overlay your uh, swap file or other data set here on the map so they can visualize the data set uh, i can go to the geo database example and then maybe uh, uh qgs sample data set uh, maybe swap files right so from here i can add some of those uh, data for example i can add maybe alaska okay just drag and drop and then just hit okay is automatically add the data set so you will see this is the one that we just added right you can turn this on and off so it's very very easy uh, to use and uh, we're going to do introduce more later in this course but uh, for now this is uh, uh, enough for this video and you can uh, make sure that you have all the um, base map added successfully there are also some plugin if you want to use uh, you can use the plugin and then uh, main is plugin so um, if you want, there are a lot more plugin plug in here that you want you you can utilize, and there are a lot of them available. So uh, you can search and see if you can find anything that you are interested in. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, take you take care. Bye bye.